What is the blockchain trilemma and how can we solve it? Blockchain enthusiasts boast that blockchain technology is decentralized, secure, and scalable. But what if I told you that this is not entirely true? And what if I told you that not all three benefits can be achieved at the same time in one blockchain? And what if I told you that this was just a simulation? Just kidding. In this video, we will unravel the biggest challenge to global blockchain adoption called the blockchain trilemma. We will dive deep into what the blockchain trilemma is and how important each feature of decentralization, security, and scalability is. We will also look at how projects like Ethereum are innovatively solving the blockchain trilemma and what we can expect in the future. Before we attempt to solve the trilemma, we would urge you to check our comprehensive course on crypto trading. With the techniques we share in this course, you can make crazy gains on your crypto portfolio. This is as good of a time as any to invest, and if you know how to do it properly, it'll go a long way. Without further ado, let's dive in. The term blockchain trilemma was coined by Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin and represents a belief among developers that all three benefits of decentralization, security, and scalability cannot be achieved in a single blockchain network. All project teams are striving to achieve this trinity of benefits in their projects, but no one has been able to find a singular solution that would address the blockchain trilemma. Binance Chain has scalability and security, but it does not have decentralization. Bitcoin has security and decentralization, but no scalability. At one point in time, one of these three pillars will be compromised, and it is up to the project team which benefit they want to compromise on. Let's start with decentralization. Decentralization is the distinguishing feature of blockchain technology, and it's what separates them from centralized networks like Facebook or Amazon. Bitcoin was created as a decentralized network using the proof-of-work network that made it extremely decentralized. Today, you can claim without hesitation that the Bitcoin network is fully decentralized, which for now also makes it immune to outside attacks. There is the 51% blockchain ownership that could be seen as a potential flaw. But with the largest miners only making up 3% of the chain, it's not something we have to worry about anytime soon, thankfully. With the power of decentralization, the network remains distributed across thousands to millions of nodes, and no one has the power to overtake the system. Not only that, but decentralization takes power from the hands of the Zuckerbergs of this world and distributes it among people like you and me with the concept of a fully decentralized network. With decentralization comes security. To the user, security is probably more important than decentralization. If my money is not safe on a network, what good will it be even if I have power in the network? As the network becomes more decentralized, it automatically becomes more secure. As more nodes are added to the network, the chances of a hostile takeover exponentially decreases as the attackers will have to attack thousands of nodes on the network. The second component of security is source code. Most blockchain projects have code templates that will be used by other projects that are building on their ecosystem. Since all codes on the blockchain are publicly available, it is extremely important that the code does not have discrepancies. The reason that Ethereum is such a preferred network for most projects is the quality of their code. Another project which is worth mentioning for their quality of code is Cosmos. Cosmos has a killer development kit and has been used to create famous projects like Binance Chain and Terra. As the code becomes more secure, the chances of hacks decrease, which is quite a headache in the crypto world. However, the current problem with blockchains is that a network that is secure and decentralized like Bitcoin or Ethereum is not fast or scalable. As the network gets heavier and more distributed, it becomes harder to scale. The time taken to process transactions increases as more nodes are required to approve a particular transaction. Hence, it becomes harder to scale the network. Simply put, scalability refers to the ability to support a high number of transactions on its network. If a network can grow without compromising its output, usability, and transaction speed, it can be considered scalable. One example is Solana. Solana can currently process 50,000 transactions on its network, and as its network grows far and wide, it has the capacity to process 65,000 transactions per second. That is the definition of a truly scalable network that can compete with the likes of Visa and MasterCard, which can only process 24,000 transactions per second. The simple trade-off is scalability for security or decentralization, and in some cases, both. If a blockchain network is scalable, it probably is not decentralized or secure. Scalability will be extremely important in the future as it will be our only chance to compete with traditional centralized networks like Visa, Facebook, and Amazon. If it takes 10 minutes to validate a transaction on the Ethereum network, it will never be used by any commercial business for carrying out their transactions because that is bad for business. Moreover, these proof-of-work networks that lack scalability also charge high fees for their transactions. For example, 
in the 2017 bull run, the Bitcoin network was overloaded and was charging $60 for transactions on its network. Quite honestly, no one can afford to pay that kind of money for a transaction. If blockchain is to become the tech of the future, it needs to achieve scalability without compromising on features of decentralization and security. Since all three features are so important, the blockchain devs put their heads together and started working on solutions to effectively solve the blockchain trilemma. Let's start with sharding. The concept of sharding is borrowed from distributed databases and is a popular method of scaling layer one solutions. Sharding basically breaks one transaction into multiple blocks, also called shards, which are processed simultaneously by the network of validators. As all these shards are being processed simultaneously, they will take lesser time to complete a transaction. Moreover, instead of holding all the transactional information on the network, shards only hold information of the transactions they are processing, which also leads to faster processing. Zilliqa and Tezos are two prominent examples that use sharding for scaling their main blockchain. However, the main method of scaling a blockchain is to create additional blockchains that can coordinate with the main chain of any network and take a portion of its transactional load. These plug and play blockchain solutions are called layer two solutions or sidechains. For example, Polkadot is a layer one solution and Moonbeam is a sidechain of Polkadot. Most notable blockchain experts believe that sidechains and layer two solutions will be vital for the success of blockchain technology as they can be used to make the system widespread and faster. It should be noted that these sidechains remain part of the bigger Polkadot network, meaning that they rely on the central relay chain of Polkadot for security and consensus. They do operate separately to process transactions, but remain a part of the bigger Polkadot ecosystem with the same blockchain infrastructure and set of guidelines. The most exciting development happening in this regard is the Ethereum merge. After the merge is completed, Ethereum will take its first step to become scalable, secure, and decentralized. Once the merge is completed and Ethereum moves to the proof of stake beacon chain, it will be optimized to expand. Vitalik Buterin has already announced that after the merge is complete, Ethereum will undergo sharding, the surge, the purge, and other major upgrades, which will eventually enable Ethereum to process 100,000 transactions every second. By the time Ethereum is fully developed, we will have a workable blueprint of how blockchains can be secure, scalable, and decentralized all at the same time. This blueprint can then be used by other blockchain projects to create advanced technology that will include all three benefits in their design. After Ethereum is fully developed, we could see a real tipping point for major institutional investment to flow into Ethereum and other blockchain projects. This could be the point when we start seeing massive global adoption of blockchain. All in all, solving the blockchain trilemma is vital before we can see the full-scale adoption of blockchain technology in the future. Remember, if you haven't done it already, subscribe to our channel and leave a like on this video so that the algorithm can work its magic.